Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I've got a budget friendly synthetic wig review for you. I have a wig from Nell's Wigs called Justine. The wig on my head. Justine comes in three colors. I have her in the black color. This is a budget friendly wig, retails for under $70. It's made out of heat friendly synthetic. Nell's Wigs is a wonderful budget retailer. I've reviewed a number of her pieces before. I see them all over Instagram. She's very, very popular. And I've even heard from some of you that you love Nell's Wigs. So if you want to know more about Justine, then stick around. thank Nell's Wigs for sending me Justine so that I could show everybody. I really love to show every type of wig under the sun. If it's a quality piece that somebody is going to want to wear, then I want to show it. And Nell's Wigs has a ton of budget wigs. I just can't even count how many wigs she has at her website. So many of all different styles. Now Justine is a mermaid hair wig. This, I'm on my tiptoes. This is you know where it's covering you know what I have am a tall girl I'm 5'9 this is super long if you're shorter this is going to be more than mermaid hair for you now Justine like I said comes in three colors this is black she also has dark brown and light brown in this style but she has so many wigs at her website she's likely got something similar to this in a different color if one of those colors isn't your color now all of her wigs are Japanese Futura Futura fibers they are heat friendly and her goal is to make her wigs as close to human hair feeling as she can this is definitely feels close to human hair now it is a little bit dry but not doll hair dry by any stretch of the imagination. Justine comes with a 13 inch lace front, so ear to ear, and she has a one inch parting space. Now, I will caution you guys, anytime you purchase a synthetic wig that is this long, especially a more budget friendly synthetic, be prepared for tangles. This one tangles. And with the curls and waves, that contributes to the tangles. You will have to have a wide tooth comb with you and you are going to have to comb through this constantly if you want to wear it down. That is not a criticism. That is just the nature of synthetic. If you want to wear long synthetic, that's something to be prepared for. Now this wig is actually a pretty low density. You can see when I pull it back in a ponytail, this is not a thick ponytail at all. It is really a great piece. If you like to wear your wigs and style them up, you want to put them in ponytails. This is gonna come off my head because her wigs run really big and I don't have a wig grip on. So as I'm doing this, this wig is gonna pull back. But because of this lace front, which we'll talk about in a minute, I have not cut it so you can see it and that's why. Um, you can take this and you can pull it all the way back into a high ponytail because of the lace on this. Let me, since it's coming off anyway, let me just take it off and show you what I mean. So this is inside the cap and you have got lace that goes all the way. This is all lace that has to be cut. If you want to wear this wig up off of your head, up in a ponytail or something, you will have to adhere this lace because these 13 inch type lace fronts don't have any tension on them because they go beyond. So let me just give you a little education on 13 inch lace fronts if you've never experienced them before. If you are familiar with more of the ready to wear um, name brand wigs, those lace fronts typically go like temple to temple. Sometimes they go down this far, but they are always attached to the cap at this point. And the cap is what helps that to lay flat, make them glueless and not lift. On wigs like this that have 13 inches, there is no, it's not attached at the side here so you're not getting any tension on it. So if you decide you'd like to purchase a wig with a lace front like this, be prepared to adhere it if you want that lace to lay flat, especially if you are going to style it. So this lace goes all the way up. So let me show you. So all of that lace has to be cut and then once you cut it up to the hairline, you have about one inch back. So one inch back of lace, which will give you what looks like a part line. It won't be a deep part, but you can still somewhat see like a part line with that lace. The rest of this cap is open wefted and has combs on the nape 
and that's the only comb. Also hook adjusters. Now, I'm gonna put this on on camera. Usually I don't put these long of wigs on because they are a challenge to get situated because they tangle. I want you to see that though. Not because I'm trying to scare you. I want you to be as informed as you possibly can be if you're gonna purchase wigs. And that means knowing if a wig is going to need special care or be challenging. So when you get a wig like this, here's what I do. I start to comb from the top you're not supposed to comb tangles out from the top, but I want to sort of know where does that tangle start. Then I go to where that tangle is, then I work my way back up the wig. You don't want to yank on the hair if you come across tangles because that's going to fray the fibers and it's going to pull them out of the cap. You see what I'm doing? It's really not that bad. So that's what you're going to want to do with this piece. Let's talk about that lace that I just mentioned. So there's all of that lace. You're going to take a scissors and cut that off at the hairline. I have a video showing you how to do that. I'll make sure it's linked in the description. And then you just put it on, you style it the way you wanna style it or wear it down if you want to. And if you need to adhere that lace, you can use got to be glued, you can be, use ebon spray. There's all kinds of things you can use to adhere your wigs. Lots of videos on YouTube showing you how to adhere a wig like this as well. The other thing you should be aware of, the lace is a little dark. Can you see how it shows up on my skin? It's not really a light transparent color. It is re relatively dark. So if you have skin my color, which is pretty tan or even a lot fairer than I am, you're gonna be need to do something to, to help that lace not be so visible. It'll be a lot less visible when it's cut to the length it needs to be, but you can use makeup on that or you can just find a way to style this hair so that you can't see so much of that lace. The hair is sewn in on here to go back. So this hair is going back like this. Just like you see, I have done nothing to it. If you wanted to cut bangs into this, you could, but you're gonna have to somehow find a way to work with that hair to get it to lay flat. And the top is very low density. You're not gonna, it's gonna be hard to hide the cap if you pull some of that hair forward. Having it back like this really helps with that. Another option for this wig that I think would be awesome is to wear it as a headband wig. Just put this wig on, throw a headband on so you kind of cover that front, that becomes a non-issue, and then you can wear it down, you can wear it up, I mean seriously. This, I have shown headband wigs in the past, and they're great. The problem is, you can only wear them with a headband, but with a wig like this, you could wear it as a headband wig and then throw it in a high pony, or you could wear it down sometimes too. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility. Let me grab a headband and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here's the headband. It can be any cloth headband, even a bandana, whatever it is that you want to use. And then you're just gonna put it on. You're gonna throw it up over that front there so that you can cover your ears if you want to or you can tuck it behind your ears. I tend to like to go behind my ears, so I'm just kind of arranging the wig so that I can do that. And there you go, now you don't have to worry about that front and you can wear it just like this or, see if I can do this without pulling it off my head. You can just grab the hair up. It's tricky when I don't have a wig grip on so that it will stay in place, just like that. And then you can throw it in a ponytail, you can throw it in a messy bun, whatever you prefer, or change it up periodically. And then you wanna make sure this is arranged in the back so that you can't see the bottom of the wig unless, unless you've got good coverage with your bio hair. But that is it. And then you can wear it just like this. I mean, and with these kind of curls, that makes a perfect ponytail. That's it. So this is Justine by Nell's Wigs, a budget-friendly synthetic wig. She has tons of other styles at her site, and this comes in three colors. I just wanted to give you guys this information and thank Nell's Wigs for sending this to me so I could do this video. I really appreciate being able to show everything that's out there so that somebody will see themselves in these videos. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon.